is all because I have no Wi-Fi. I filmed a video talking about how bad my mental health was. Yeah, I'm not doing well. So, yesterday, I got green hair dye. I wanted to go back green during Halloween season. However, however, um, I don't feel like waiting four months. But I have been blonde for over two months at this point. So I have like left my hair alone. I've given it um, like 68 days to breathe. It's, um, it feels like the ends feel damaged. I've been trimming it consistently though. But like my roots feel like really good. So yeah. So, but I just wanted to let you guys know where I'm at. Because sometimes it's hard to be honest about how you're doing. And here's me being honest. It's hard for me to maintain a job at this point because of where I've gotten. And so my focus right now is school and my mental health and my husband. So my hair is so flat today because I, like I always say, it's really hard to care for curly hair. So a lot of times I get lazy. But I was having a mental breakdown like yesterday, so I took a shower and just slept on it while it was wet. Or sorry, two days ago. Um, and so of course if you sleep on it while it's wet, it's going to get flat. And I put product in it too, so it makes it sit. So like it makes me get a bowl head. I literally don't have Wi-Fi right now. It's been gone all day since I woke up. So we just got back from Ferndale because they have Wi-Fi in that city. And not in mine. So yeah, so I can't even watch anything while I do this, but... Since I can talk to y'all, I'm happy. You say the n-word, you're racist. So, I got my hair to a blonde I really, really liked. Except my roots so much, but... Um, so it does pain me a little bit to dye it. But, at the same time, I've had such a hard time keeping it blonde, and I need some fun in my life, and like I said, life has been really stressful, so dyeing my hair is a way to have fun with myself and express myself. I'm just gonna look up these colors again to remember what I wanted to do. I have no Wi-Fi. I can't even like watch videos or nothing, so I'm just like, fuck. This is what I think we're gonna do. We're gonna take green, we're gonna do a peekaboo moment. Now I know I wanted to do this before and it's messed up, I wanted to do split dye before and it's messed up. Here's the difference, I have a green and a neon green. So if they bleed into each other, it's still green. If it messes up, it's still green. Because in the past I've done different colors and it messed up because I'm not like professional enough and I'm also doing it myself which is hard. But I got two colors that are the same color but different, like, tone shades, you know. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a peekaboo of neon green underneath. I'm doing Iriro again because I actually really liked how vibrant it was last time. And then on top we're doing just regular green. And then, on top, with the regular green, we're going to be doing two highlights on each side, or sorry, one highlight on each side of the neon green. There'll be like just like a streak going through, green, and then a peekaboo. This could be very ugly, but I, I can't be bothered right now. So let's section the hair. I really wonder if Brad Mondo's ever gonna watch any of my videos. I make a lot of content for him. I think I want more of it to be green than neon green, so it is more of a peekaboo instead of like, too much, because I'm actually gonna pour about half in, since it's only for like, a smaller chunk of my hair right now. Y'all, I'm nervous. Because once you start, there's no going back. I actually like to use a brush. I like to start with a brush and then do the rest with my hands. And yeah, there's no going back this time because I can't bleach my hair again. God, I rear really smells so good. My mom helped me get the bottom part. Now we're going to move on to the top. I'm like basically out of neon green, which is a little alarming, but I just really wanted to saturate it because like I always have a problem with not getting the backs, but the past couple times I dyed my hair, I got Gavin or my mom to help. So it hasn't, or Leslie helped. So I haven't had a problem the past like three times I dyed my hair. So that's a pretty good streak for me. I'm really trying not to like create a giant knot. Let's see how different the green is. We're officially incubating. We're gonna see what we're looking at. I'm just gonna wash it out because I can't really see, but. Excuse 
just messed them back. I know y'all didn't think I would say this, but um, I don't miss my blonde at all. And I think this looks actually amazing. You can tell more in person, but you can definitely tell that there's a bunch of different tones of green within my hair. Here it looks more um, like lime green, and here it looks more green green. I don't know if you can... But I look witchy. I do look witchy, and I love it. I just feel even more spoopy. Um, it's kind of like a good like boost that I needed because life has been so hard lately. And so just doing my makeup and dyeing my hair and feeling like I look absolutely badass and hot feels good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm riding this train a little bit. I took so many photos, I took transition TikTok videos. I can't wait to show my husband when he gets home. Yeah, I have green hair and I'm obsessed. It looks beautiful. It actually feels so healthy. It smells amazing. Um, I'm obsessed. I'm happy. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Chicken Queen. This is Lightbulb and have a good breakfast. Goodbye.